Hey guys, it's Cut Light Smoke back again for a an accessory review today. Um, we're taking a look at the Calibri Monaco in the metallic finish. Now this is the gunmetal charcoal, whatever you want to call it. I guess technically it's the charcoal color, uh, but it looks kind of like a gunmetal almost. Um, this lighter has a flip top, so you can open it up there. If you guys can see that, it's got a triple flame in the pyramid style, so the sides are actually angled in a little bit. And so when you light this, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see that in the video. This is a really powerful lighter. Um, it is exceptionally reliable and probably one of the best lighters I've ever used. Um, $79 retail, so not super, super expensive as far as lighters go, but not super, super cheap either. Uh, I'm sure you can probably find these for a little bit cheaper depending on where you're buying from, but even at retail price, this is a very reliable piece of machinery. So <laughs> um, it's a butane lighter, obviously, like I said. It has an adjustable knob on the bottom where you fill your butane, just like many do. Um, the ignition switch is a slider, so you slide it down, and it lights every single time. I have come out here on this porch when it's been 10 degrees, turned on my little electric heater, trying to stay warm. Typically, most lighters in that condition would not light. This thing, every single time, it works, and it lights them up quick. Um, being that it's a triple flame, it's pretty powerful. I'm not the biggest fan of single flames. Some people like them for being precise, but all I gotta say about that is hold your lighter a little bit further away. If you have a triple flame or something, you're gonna be fine. But a couple things about this, it, it has been tested actually at 9,000 feet to be effective as far as altitude. Um, on top of that, it's again refillable. That's clearly the purpose of buying a lighter like this. Has a little fuel window on the back. If you buy a lighter that doesn't have that, manufacturers of lighters, please listen to me. Stop making lighters without a fuel window. Uh, it's really annoying because nobody knows how much is in there. This one has their, um, I guess you call it like their blue fuel window that they have on a lot of their lighters if you've ever used them. Um, it makes it very easy to see how much fuel is in there. So I really, really like this thing. It feels really nice in the hand. It's not super big either, so it fits in your pocket really easily but it seems to have a relatively large fuel tank on it. Uh, I can light a lot of cigars with this before I have to refill it, and being that it's so powerful, it lights them very fast. Um, with this, I love this color scheme. I'm all about blacks and grays and just kind of neutral colors um, for accessories. I don't like to get too flashy with all that stuff, so I really do like this one. Um, again, it's got that little lid up top there. You do have to manually open that, so if you try to light it like that, it's not gonna work. You do have to flip that up, and then there you go. So there's a little safety feature, because if it's in your pocket, and somehow you click it, well, I think it might actually light inside, <laughs> inside of there, but you got no flame um, that's actually coming out of the lighter. Um, it did get a little bit warm just then, so be careful, I guess, if this is in your pocket. Don't light yourself on fire. Um, again, retails for $79. Um, my other notes on this, let's see if I missed anything at all. Seeing, of course, they fell off of my phone here. Um, no, I pretty much got it all. <laughs> um, these You can buy these directly from Calibri if you choose to. Um, but as always, I always recommend supporting your local B&M. Uh, if they don't carry anything and you want one of these, get them to reach out to Calibri and buy some. Um, I love supporting brick and mortar shops because if you don't, we're all going to be stuck buying from the giant companies online, uh, which they have their time and their place. You know, I'm not saying I've never ordered anything online. Um, but if you can support your local places guys because that's what this industry is all about um, but I'm just rambling now aren't I <laughs> this lighter is one of the best lighters I've used so plain and simple I highly recommend this um, in comparison to other things out there you're not gonna get a better deal from many other companies so um, but this one surprised me you know I, I'm very picky with the lighters that I have I typically use um, for my porch, you guys have seen my review on this big boy, um, the big old Zycar pop can lighter, as I like to call it, um, but that was from the Avalanche gift set, but I actually prefer this. You know, that one has a bigger tank and everything, but you can't take it around. This this could be a table lighter and a pocket lighter, so um, not quite a, as big of a fuel tank, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I do have a very strict standard with lighters because I get really pissed off when I'm sitting there and you just click, 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 and it won't light. And that happens far too often on cigar lighters, and I'm sure you all can relate to that. Uh, so 
it definitely there's something to be said for buying a nice lighter and this is uh, certainly a great option so i highly highly recommend this if you're in the market for a lighter you should probably pick this one so if you guys like this review hit the like button subscribe check out irabusto.com and keep in mind i do have some other accessory reviews coming here in the near future um, but hope you all are doing well and keeping it smoky until next time guys i'll catch you later you keep puffing away we'll see you